Welcome to Meeting House Lane in Borsal Common. This well proportioned and deceptively spacious residence stands proudly behind electric gates in this highly convenient yet quiet tree lined road, arguably one of the most desirable in Borsal Common. As you can see, the frontage offers ample forecourt parking and an access into the integral double garage. There is side access to the rear garden and even space for a small caravan and boat. Internally, the accommodation is tastefully decorated throughout and enjoys UPVC double glazing and gas central heating. Quite simply, you could move straight in. And so to the entrance hallway, which offers a useful storage stroke cloaks cupboard just out of shot there on the right, and then leads into the refitted guest WC. The front reception room is a delightful sitting stroke family room and has that feature Inglenook fire surround, <coughs> ample space for seating and freestanding furniture, and pleasant views over the front driveway. Leading off from this open plan dining area which has a fantastic space, um, space enough there for the eight seated table and also has this really large and useful understair storage cupboard which wraps right the way around, ideal for perhaps having the children or grandchildren play hide and seek in. Adjoining the dining area um, is this spacious lounge which has a dual aspect delightful views over the rear garden and also has double French doors which lead into the conservatory. If we head now back through the dining area and into the bespoke breakfast bar kitchen it gives you a sense of how fantastic and how social this family home can be. Uh, once all of the doors are open um, people could circulate around in a lovely um, circuit. The complete, uh, kitchen has been completely refitted and expertly designed with all manner of drawers, units, storage cupboards, as well as a full complement of built-in appliances which include full height fridge freezers, separate fridge and dishwasher. That's the conservatory adjoining which has uh, great views over the rear garden. Onto the utility which offers space to house the noisier of the appliances, so the washer dryer, etc. And it also provides access to the second staircase. Um, the lower leads down to a cinema stroke storeroom which we'll come to shortly and then a second floor floor landing. There's then a door which gives integral access into the double garage which is really used as storage by the current owners but as you can see has a door and window which leads out to the rear garden. And so if we head downstairs first, the basement room is highly versatile in its use and whilst historically the current owners have used it for nothing more than storage um, which they seem to have inherited from extended family and so forth who found out they had this uh, you know, gem of a store area in our opinion it would make for a great cinema, children's games room etc um, or you could just stash the wine down there if you wish to if you've got a full complement of wine that is. So to the first floor we've gone up from the main staircase which leads off from the reception entrance and you can see this is um, offers a wealth of natural illumination um, from the UPVC double glazed window to the side stroke rear and each of the doors <coughs> that radiate off here give access to four of the five bedrooms on this floor. The pinnable bedroom is where we've head first, um, that then has a dressing room area, built in wardrobes there and shelving and then this beautifully refitted en suite um, with shower and separate bathroom. As we spin round you'll see there's a, a built in wardrobe as, uh, as well here which is sort of a, almost a walk in wardrobe but offers additional wardrobe space <coughs> there which is all integral and then into the main principal bedroom um, area which okay, is superb space for freestanding wardrobes and furniture and large bed, dual aspect views, um, all open outlook there which the uh, camera will now pan to. So 
So if we now jump back to the landing area and we'll head into the guest bedroom. So we've called this bedroom number two purely for the fact that it has an allocated ensuite to it, uh, which has been uh, recently refitted. So <clears throat> good size double bedroom, ample space for freestanding furniture, pleasant views over the uh, driveway frontage there as well with also a side window and then into this um, refitted ensuite. So beautiful neutral tiling there and a white suite. Now you'll forgive um, in terms of how this, uh, how we've gone round the property because the numbering doesn't quite work, but this is actually going to be your smallest bedroom. Um, so it just goes to show that you've got double bed there, ample space for bedroom furniture and also a built-in double wardrobe, um, but that's the smallest of the lot. That then gives you access out onto the second um, landing area, which has the staircase, which leads down to the utility area. Also has an airing cupboard, and doors here lead onto bedroom four, which again has double built-in wardrobes, fabulous view out to rear and ample space for double bed there, and then the second door out to the main landing area. The family bathroom, again, beautifully appointed, not a thing you need to do in there and <coughs> offers bath with shower attachment over. Into the final bedroom which is currently used as a first floor games room and study area by the owners but in our opinion would be a huge double bedroom which um, if you wish to could provide perhaps annex accommodation with the separate staircase up from the utility area but equally has those um, fabulous views out to both the front and rear elevations. Moving to the outside now, garden area, the side gated side access out to the driveway frontage, various patio areas which all grab the sun at some point during the day. So you can see there's a nice patio area on the left. Um, laid to lawn garden then leads round with this paved pathway up to an extensive wood decked area and there's a really useful side storage area as well there that you could put the garden shed in etc. So thanks for watching this video tour and if you do wish to arrange a viewing please get in contact.